In this episode of Harbor Freight Review, we are going to be looking at the Sentec Digital Inspection Camera, item number 61839. This inspection camera provides real-time video of closed or hard-to-see spaces. It features a 2.4-inch screen, a 38-inch flexible camera cable, and has a video out for viewing on a larger screen. It is currently listed for $79.99. And as always, there's a coupon in the description. Today we're going to be talking about the Sentec Digital Inspection Camera. This thing's pretty cool. Uh, I bought this a while back uh, while I was working on a car. I had to look inside the uh, cylinders, didn't feel like taking the head off and uh, going in the hard way. And so this was a really economical way to do it. A um, couple quick features about this thing. It has a 2.4 inch um, color screen on the back, uh, brightness controls. You can also rotate uh, the image of the camera. It uh, also comes with I think it's 38 inches uh, fiber optic camera with LEDs and I'll plug that up here in a second let you see it and uh, also comes with a nice hard case uh, when I bought it I bought it with a coupon I think it was $70 when I got it which is really reasonable for um, what you need this thing for you can also use it like spy on people but I wouldn't recommend that so all you do is this just screws right on and turn the power button on. And you can see it's got the LEDs. And we'll flip this around. There you go. And then so I don't know if you can see this. But that's what you get out of it. It also it has a close range focus, so it's good for right about here, about an inch away from what you're looking at. And uh, this thing can see in pitch black. These LEDs, you can't tell right now because we have so many lights on. These LEDs are actually pretty bright. And we're going to show you a demo of that later. And then the other cool thing about this is on the side, there is a small jack for plugging it into a TV. So if um, you were like fishing a cable through a wall or something, you had access to a TV right there, you could plug it in there and get a lot better visual out of that. Okay, so you can see, We've plugged it up to this TV here so y'all can actually see what we're looking at. And we are going to simulate going into um, a wall cavity. One thing I want to point out, you can see it's kind of <clears throat> blurry at things that are far away, like the puppy. But up close is where his focus is. And so you literally can see all the different little parts of the wood very clearly. So, all right, we're gonna go ahead and stick it into our wall cavity that we built here. Oh, 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 there it is. Found my 10 millimeter been in this little wall this entire time rascally devil so overall I think it's a pretty cool little device I've never used any other types of these I know Harbor Freight sells a couple different models of this uh, with bigger screens different features I think one of them has a grabber on the other end of it uh, so it's hard for me to give you a honest review because this is the only one I've ever used so I don't know how to compare it to other like type um, inspection camera systems. I will say for what this is and for the price, uh, awesome little uh, device. Definitely handy if you're working on cars, um, you've lost a socket into the engine somewhere and you need to go find it. Uh, it's definitely worth it. And from what I've seen online, like comparable models are like four or five times the price for the exact same specs, 2.4 inch screen. 30 plus inch uh, fiber optic cable. So I think the value is there and um, 
I think ultimately is a good buy if you have a need for an inspection camera fishing uh, wires through walls or hunting down lost objects in an engine compartment or specifically what this thing says it's used for online is for checking out cylinder walls uh, so I would give this uh, a quality tool uh, review um, but if anyone has any more information about other leg types that they've used send me a message I would like to know uh, your opinion there's a couple things I forgot to mention uh, in the descriptive video portion um, this thing runs off four AA batteries. Uh, the book says that it should run for about five hours on standard batteries. Better batteries, longer life, like put lithiums or something in it. The other thing is, is on the back here, there is a uh, rotator button for your video image. It allows you to change orientation. So if like you're in a wall and you're upside down, you can click it a couple times and flip it so it's right side up. So it's easier to navigate with. The only thing is, is it doesn't output onto the screen. Um, that's why I forgot to mention it earlier. Also, just one more time to show you how good this thing is close up. Harborfreight.com. Um, anyways, so now onto something totally serious. How is this thing in a zombie apocalypse? Really? It kind of sucks. It's not a very good weapon. It's a camera. You might could throw it at them, run off, maybe it'll scare them, who knows. The only things I could think of that would be good for the zombie apocalypse is it would let you to, you know, check underneath door frames or something like that and see if there's any zombies in the other room or go through an air vent or something like that to check out other portions of the building. Uh, but ultimately, probably not something I'd grab out of the shop if, uh, I was grabbing my arsenal for a zombie apocalypse. So with that said, I'd rate this thing like a one in a zombie apocalypse. Kind of useful for certain situations, but you really don't need it. Um, a couple of the other tools that we've done previously would be a lot better. Uh, or, you know, a stick would probably be better than the camera. So, in zombie apocalypse, sadly, not going to help you out too much. Except for those specific situations. Hey everyone, just want to let you know, I'm not affiliated with Harbor Freight and they're not sponsoring me yet. I'm just doing this because I love Harbor Freight and all their tools. I've had lots of great experiences with them and uh, they're always helpful. The staff is really knowledgeable and it's really, for the most part, the best bang for your buck. So, just want to make it clear, definitely not sponsored yet, Harbor Freight. <clears throat> Call me. And uh, I hope you all enjoy the videos.